Greetings everyone, Ghost Fox here today taking a look at Swanwick glasses. Now some of you may have heard of Swanwick glasses. They are marketed for both gaming and sleep. We'll get into the reasons and some of the science and info behind that shortly. Uh, you may have noticed a few celebrities who wear these, a couple of football players, Von Miller, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, not a football player, but still a famous guy, and uh, the guy from Game of Thrones, I cannot remember his name at the moment. If he ever watches this, he'll probably be mad at me um, for forgetting who he is because he's famous and I'm not. So anyway, uh, these glasses are actually pretty nice. Now you can see them. I'm wearing these now. And um, stylish, look pretty good. I mean, these kind of fit with the trend right now for uh, both men and women. It's not specifically uh, a manly or feminine looking pair of glasses. Some might say a little on the, the hipster side. You know, these aren't super macho glasses, but uh, they're not intended to be. Particularly, uh, they just want to be stylish and have function. Now, the function of these glasses is definitely what we're taking a look at. I've had these for a few days now, and I have had the luxury of comparing them to a variety of other gaming glasses, including two different pairs of Gunner Optics glasses, No Scope Optics, Cygnus, and... Uh, Gosh, you know, I can't remember the last one right now, but what I will say is the aspect of these that is most important is the blue light blocking aspect, and that is definitely where Swanwix kind of has a leg up on the competition. So the question becomes, is it worth it to you? Now these are a little bit more expensive than their next competitor, which would be the Gunner glasses. A lot of people who are gamers have heard of those. If you're a gamer, you're probably pretty familiar with Gunner. They're, they're in Best Buy, they're online, they're, they're everywhere. However, Gunner glasses don't block as much blue light as the Swanwick glasses do. Uh, every single one that I tested, every pair, I tested both the tinted and the non-tinted form of the uh, Gunners, and none of them actually blocked as much of the blue spectrum as the Swanwick. Now, I guess maybe a downside to that is there is a little bit of additional tint to these, so you're going to notice, uh, let me move these around a little bit, you're going to notice the, the tint is a little more yellow, but that's absolutely a necessity. It's part of the filter that blocks the light. So the only time that I had any kind of, I don't know, it's not even an issue, but thought they were a little odd is in really bright outdoor sunlight. There can be like a little bit of a, a rainbowy effect, which is unusual uh, at first, but it's not really a big deal. So ultimately, these do block the most from that blue spectrum. Now for gaming, that works great because what the blue light ends up doing is kind of washing out a lot of the other colors that you see. So the benefit of wearing gaming glasses is not only for eye strain, which a lot of that blue light has been known to cause, and that's, kind of, that's, that's one of the two scientific points of uh, the blue light blocking but also contrast. So if you remove blue light from your gaming, you're going to see a lot more contrast from the screen. The colors are going to stand out more. So that's also the benefit. Slight you know, difference in being able to notice things on screen a little easier. I could see these for use in um, pro gaming and things like that. Either people who are gaming or on the computer a lot um, would probably find a lot of benefit from these. So they work excellent as gaming classes. The other aspect is the sleep aspect, and I know that's something that Swanwick Sleep focuses on. The scientific part of that is that blue light has also been known to disrupt like your body's circadian rhythm, your, your sleep cycle. So the idea is if you wear these at night a while before you're going to bed, it's going to eliminate that you know signal coming into your brain that kind of disrupts your sleep pattern. Now I did do that, I did follow their instructions, and I did test them out in that way. And I didn't have any problems sleeping, though it wasn't some effect that I found to be immediately magically noticeable. I think in order to study that, I would really need to do a long-term, probably like month-long study on these. And frankly, that's just not something that um, I wanted to get into right now. My main focus is gaming, and these are definitely top of the line in terms of blue light blocking gaming glasses. Again, gunners are close, but um, you know they're definitely a step below in terms of their ability to block it. They are also about $10 to $20, $30 maybe on the cheaper side, less 
than these glasses. So the question is, are you willing to pay that $20, $30 more to get the top blue blocking glasses? So ultimately that decision is yours, but these definitely do match up in terms of quality. I tested a couple of blue spectrums to see whether or not these were blocking it, and I will definitely include some of those photos in my blog. So for now, I'm definitely going to say Swannies, top of the line in gaming. I'd recommend them for pro gamers, even people on the computer a lot. Just be aware the, the yellow filter is fairly distinct. So, all right, well, that's a look at Swanwick glasses. For more info on tech gadgets and everything gaming, keep an eye on the blog at ghostfoxtech.com. Thanks for watching.